The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Welcome to St. David's for our worship, uh, this Feast of the Epiphany, when we remember the visit of the Magi to the Christ Child. Please join in the singing and prayers with us as you are able. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Collect Prayer for this Sunday. Eternal God, who by a star led wise men to the worship of your Son, guide by your light the nations of the earth, that the whole world may know your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we sing together, Glory to God. The readings for this Sunday are from Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 to 6, Psalm 72, verses 1 to 7 and 10 to 14, from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 1 to 12, and from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at his rising and have come to pay him homage. 
When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. This is the Gospel of Christ. speak to you in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. These days, it's not so difficult to locate a long-lost friend uh, because of all the resources we have on the internet. And once you find an address for the person, GPS will guide you, most of the time, to the correct location. And sometimes you can even see what the house looks like with aid of internet before you even arrive there. It wasn't quite so straightforward for the Magi to find the Christ child. As as astrologers, they were adept at reading the stars. Perhaps they saw, as we have recently, Jupiter and Saturn unusually close together in the night sky. Or perhaps they saw a comet. Whatever they saw in the night sky, they interpreted it to mean the birth of a king. Their ancient lore led them to believe that the infant king might be found in Jerusalem. A star is not a particularly sensitive GPS system. The Magi arrived in Jerusalem, then they had to stop to ask for an address. Where would they find this child born king of the Jews? Of course they went to the palace to inquire, perhaps even expecting to find the child there. Needless to say, King Herod was greatly disturbed upon hearing of an infant king. But he was as lost as they as to where to find the child. Herod's advisors searched the scriptures and reported that a king of the Jews, a Messiah or Christ, would be born in Bethlehem. So Herod sent the Magi off to Bethlehem, asking them to report back as to the specific location of this child. King Herod also learned from them when exactly they had observed this star, enabling him to calculate how old the child would be. 
The Magi head to Bethlehem, again guided by the star, which appeared to keep moving until it stopped over the place where the child was. That the star might have got them more or less in the right area seems possible, but to the exact spot. The only explanation is that God wanted them to find this child. That's why God came among us in human form, in order that we might find him. The question is, where might we find him? The Magi erroneously erroneously thought that they would find him in a palace. But instead, they found Jesus in plain sight, in a house with his mother Mary. They knew they'd found the Christ child because their hearts were overwhelmed with joy. Well, initially, they were guided by a star and by the prophet's foretelling of Christ's birth in Bethlehem, they knew for sure they had found him when their hearts were filled with joy. And that joy led them to kneel down, a sign of awe and wonder and respect, and to give the child precious gifts. Gold is a gift fit for a king, Frankincense, which is an incense used with offerings in the temple, is a sign of Jesus' priestly vocation. And myrrh, a spice used to anoint the dead for burial, is a foreshadowing of his death on the cross. These strangers, foreigners, seekers, found the Son of God because God wants to be found. God comes out into the open, in plain sight, wrapped in human flesh, that we might find him. And we will know when we have found God, for we will also know joy. Joy isn't the same as happiness. Happiness is triggered externally when things are going well, when life is good. But the thing about joy is that you can know joy even in the most appalling circumstances. Joy will not spare you of suffering, nor did it spare Jesus. We are not spared the cross. But we've shared the cross and also the joy that follows. Joy will give you a place in your heart to be well, to be passionately alive, even amidst the changes and chances and sufferings of your life. This is how Brother Curtis puts it. And some of the most joyful people are also people who have suffered much. What was once a mystery to all people, except the Jews, God is now revealed to the whole world in and through Christ Jesus. God wills to be found. God's nature, God's love, God's presence, is known through Jesus. The divine mystery, as St. Paul calls it, is made visible, tangible. The light and love of God's presence in the world brings joy to people of all races and nations. And God continues to lead people to know him and to worship him. God uses all kinds of strange ways to draw people to himself. The messages of scripture, the wonders of nature, the desire to worship, the words of ordinary people like you and me. God in Christ wants to be found and wants to give us joy. Moved by joy, the Magi worship, offer their gifts, and then return to their homes. 
and in returning, they bring the message of good news to others. God has come among us. And so also the Spirit sends us to our families, to our friends, to our communities, with the same good news that God wills to be found. God in Jesus Christ is with us. So let us rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us worship the Savior with joy and make our prayer to our Heavenly Father, saying, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Grant to Christians everywhere the same spirit of adoration. We remember in our prayers this week Bishop Jane and the Synod Office staff and in Bouye Diocese, our partner parish of Mubanga. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The infant Christ, 
received gifts of gold, incense, and myrrh. Accept the offering of our hearts and minds. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. Grant an abundance of peace to your world. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless and all who suffer, remembering especially at this time all who are isolated and lonely, all who are in hospital, and all who have asked us to pray for them. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Your son shared the life of his home and family at Nazareth protecting your love, our neighbors, our friends, and this community of which we are a part. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds, the angels, the Magi, the Virgin Mary, Saint Joseph, and all the faithful departed remembering especially this week Mike Kenna and Anne Yadowski and all who mourn their loss. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. In your unfailing love for us and for all people, hear and answer our prayers through your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we sing together our Lord's Prayer. God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the Church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And now may God give to you and to those you love his comfort and peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs>